Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here GMAT Review, the official guide, the 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The book contains 230 problem solving questions. It has 174 data sufficiency questions. We have already solved every single math problem from this book. If you are interested in watching any of the original solutions to the problems, you will find the original solutions from day number 1 through 250. Right now we are in the process of redoing the problems and we are on page number 185. Please turn to it. Page number 185, the very first problem that you see on the page, number 227. Let's see what it has to say. Number 227 tells us that if, if 0 0.0015 times 10 raised to m over 0 0.03 times 10 raised to k, we are told that if this quantity equals 5 times 10 raised to 7, then in that case, what's the value of? Then in that case, what's the value of n minus k? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out what, what, what we can do here. Listen, the simplest thing would be, the simplest, the quickest, the easiest thing to, uh, to do here would be to analyze the top and the bottom separately, the denominator, the denominator and the numerator separately. The numerator we're going to first analyze. The numerator, the top part tells us this part, 0.0015. Let's, let's take a look at it, see what, see what this boils down to. We want to be able to write this as a whole number. If we can write this as a whole number, if we can write, if we can write this quantity as 15, and if we can write the bottom quantity as 3, then we'll have our 5, which is what we have here. And once we have the 5 on both sides, we can drop out the 5 and we can analyze the exponent of the 10 on both sides. Do you understand? So how can we convert this into a whole number? Well, this is decimal right here, and we have to move four places. One, two, three, and four. We need to bring the decimal here. If we multiply the top and bottom by 10 raised to 4, then 10 raised to 4 times 0 0.0015, that 10 power of 4 will remove the decimal from four places to the left, and it will become 15 over 10 raised to 4. Which in turn can be written as which in turn can be written as 15 times 10 raised to negative 4. So that part is done. That's 15 times 10 raised to negative 4. That part is done. Now let's look at the bottom part. Similarly, bottom part is 0 0.0, 0 0.03. Multiply the top and bottom by 100, 10 raised to 2, and we'll end up with 3 over 10 raised to 2, which in turn can be written as 3 over 3 times 10 raised to negative 2. Same exact procedure as before. Nothing new, right here. So now we can substitute in there. So on the top we have 0 0.0015, 0 0.0015, which we know can be written as this, which is 15 times 10 raised to negative 4 over, and, and don't forget 10 raised, to, 10, raised to, 10 raised to m, over this bottom part, 0 0.03, which we know equals this part right here, 3 times 10 raised to negative 2 times 10 raised to k. And this quantity we are told equals 5 times 10 raised to 7. Well, there we have it. We have our 15, we have our 3, we can divide the top and bottom by 3, and we can get rid of this 3, and 15 becomes 5. Let's, let's pick up this story here. Let's pick up this story here. No, we don't need this right now. So, we have 5 times 10 raised to 4 minus 10 raised to 2. 10 raised, 10 raised to 4, or 10 raised to negative 4, and we have in the bottom 10 raised to negative 2, which can be written as 10 raised to negative 4 minus 10 raised to negative 2. Or perhaps I'm making it too complicated. Just give me a second here. 
Just I'm making it too complicated. I'm making it too complicated. Let's write this as m minus 4. m minus 4. Over 10 raised to k minus 2. k minus 2. That in turn can be written as that in turn can be written as 5 times 10 raised to this quant this exponent right here m minus 4 m minus 4 and now we bring this this thing to the top and whatever this exponent is it will become negative it will be negative k minus 2 negative k minus 2 there you go and now this quantity that we see here 5 times 10 raised to this this exponent m minus 4 minus k minus 2 has to equal this quantity. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's put, it, let's put it right here so that we have it up here. So this quantity right here, 5 times 5 times 10 raised to m minus 4 minus k minus 2. We're almost there, okay? We're almost there. We see 5 on both sides of the equation, we can divide the entire equation by 5 and the 5 drops out. And what we end up now is 10 raised to this exponent right here and 10 raised to that exponent right here. Now, because the bases are the same, because this has a base of 10 and this has a base of 10, because the bases are the same, the exponent, the exponent have to be equal to each other. This exponent that you see here, this quantity here, would have to equal 7. And we are almost there. So let's continue. So again, we have here 10 raised to m minus 4 minus k minus 2, k minus 2, which equals to 10 raised to 10 minus 10 raised to 7. So 7 has to equal this. The exponents have to be equal to each other because the bases are the same, which means m minus 4 minus k minus 2 has to equal 7. We are almost there. And the question was, how much is m minus k? We're almost there. So we ex open the exponents, we get m minus 4, minus k, minus k, and minus and a minus will become plus 2 equals 7. And we have m and a minus k, m minus k, and then negative 4 and a positive 2 is going to give us negative 2 equals 7. Add 2 to both sides and we are done. 2 is going to cancel out and we'll end up with m minus k, m minus k equals 9. Which is what we're looking for. The question was how much is the value of m minus k? The answer is m minus k equals 9. That's it. And that's answer choice A. That's your answer choice A. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.